My name is Shayla Miller, and I am a junior in Women's Corral. My fellow singers and I have been working hard all semester to prepare you for tonight, and we are, we are excited to share our performances with you. To prepare for this evening, we kindly ask that you please refrain from taking any flash photography during the performance, and that you ensure all mobile devices are set to silent. We hope you enjoy tonight's performance of the FHS Choral Program Spring Concert. and our first piece will be Keep Your Lamps, arranged by Victor C. Johnson. Keep Your Lamps is arranged from a traditional spiritual that was commonly heard on plantations during the time of slavery. The text states that the subject should keep their lamps trimmed and burning because the time is drawing near. It also implores the subject to not grow weary until their work is done because the journey will soon be over. On the surface, the piece seems to reference the biblical text of Matthew 25. However, a deeper meaning reveals that the song is referring to the freedom that would come via the Underground Railroad. In fact, most spirituals were used as a means to communicate between slaves and across plantations without their captors knowing. We approach this work with an understanding of the atrocities of slavery, reverence for the lives affected, and humble hearts for privilege and freedom we have today to perform this work. We hope you enjoy Keep Your Lamps.
arranged by Pink Siba. Pink Siba is a pseudonym for a successful music producer and composer. Heroes and Dreamers is a very inspirational and motivational song about chasing your dreams. If you listen to the text, you will hear about chasing your dreams, reaching your goals, and living your best life. The piano accompaniment adds a pop flair to this song, creates an upbeat drive that creates excitement within listeners. We hope you listen to the words and find your own sense of motivation, and I present to you Heroes and Dreamers.
you all for being here tonight. My name is Mr. Moore, and I have the privilege of being the choral director here at Farragut High School. I want to take a moment to make sure you know that person who was standing there just was. That was Miss Ruth Ann Bindi. She is our student teacher this semester, and she's been doing an incredible job. You'll see her once more with Men's Chorale, and also she's playing piano for us with Mr. Stallings as well. While we have Men's Chorale coming on stage, I want to say a couple of thank yous to, um, first and foremost, Dr. Tony Woolley, who is sitting up there in the sound booth. Um, he is uh, my one of my closest friends, and also, let it be known, Women's Chorale's number one fan. Uh, he sure does love their cheese dip. Um, I also want to thank Sarah Schaefknocker, Booster Club President, Angie Liskey, Coral Parent Extraordinaire, Amy Klinska, Donation Finder Extraordinaire, Deborah McFall, Hemming Volunteer, Mindy Wise, Christy Bruce, Mary Ann Graves, all Hemming Volunteers, Susan Shresner, who if you ever need to take a group of students to Nashville, Tennessee, that's the person you need to ask. She was amazing. <laughs> Uh, Sharon Hockey, the Lori family, the Walter family for their generous donations, and we will take a moment to thank him a little bit later too, but I've just got to say a huge thank you to Mr. Mike Stallings for being here. <laughs> the next group on the stage is Men's Corral, and I'd like to invite Spencer Graves down to get us into it.
my name is Luke Tresner, and I am a senior at the men's choir, and I guess also the men's mixed choir too. Our next piece is What Shall We Do With a Drunken Sailor? Freely arranged by Marshall Bartholomew. This song is a traditional sea shanty that has been sung on ships as early as the 1830s. This is a work song that was normally sung on large ships with big crews. These crews would shout things like, Way hey and up she rises when they would raise the anchor or hoist the sails. There are many different versions of this song, because there is no official record of this song. Some of the words are pronounced differently than might be expected, because of the song's original Irish connections. Thank you, and please enjoy Drunken Sail.
and I saw a fair maid. Be 
featuring Jesse Lou and Christian Graves, a social as <laughs> soloist. Um, this piece sets the melody to a well-known hymn tune against a driving Latin section, which translates to, In the moment of death, the heavens give me strength. With God's help, death will not be feared forever. Direct us, sir, so we may go to the stars higher. Thank you and enjoy Nearer My God to Thee.
Soloists are Lindsay Hoggy, Debbie Hill, and Megan Tucker. This work begins as a simple expression of empathy for those who are less fortunate and struggle against poverty and inequity. As the piece unfolds, the voices grow more empowered and show resilience, perseverance, and determination. Ultimately, the song offers a universal message, sung by the chorus, which reminds us that together we can get through the difficult times that inevitably visit our lives. Please enjoy Hard Times.
The band's next final piece tonight is Bile Them Cabbage Down, arranged by Matt Warburg and played by both Miss Fendi and Mr. Stallings. This piece can be traced back to a fiddle song from 1765. Most of the work is built off humorous stories that serve as nothing more than a way to make the audience, aka you, laugh. Before you ask, a hoe cake is a flat cake made from cornmeal that was originally baked on a hoe. We hope you enjoy a dance mix choir. Final piece of the night, file and catch down. Next year we have a, a really big year 
plan for us. We're getting ready right now for our final group numbers. Um, but I would not. I would be remiss if I did not do my choral director duties and ask for money. I know. I know. I am happy to report, though, that you have been incredibly generous to us over the last year, and all of the um, bills that we had to pay, everything, have been taken care of because of your generosity. That was about $8,000 this year, so thank you so much for that. It came in the form of random donations, it came in the form of fees, it came in the form of poinsettias, um, and coupon books, and um, you dropping in money in the buckets, which we'll have in the back later tonight, and Venmoing. Um, but the fact of the matter is, this community has shown up, and you are investing in this program, and I uh, made it a point to tell you what's going on, so you know that good things are happening here, and they're happening because of these kids that are standing on the stage. Um, now, I will tell you what our goal is for next year, and because we're getting bigger and we're growing and we're going to more places, we're going to set our budget at $15,000. Um, so that would cover music for us, some music software. The, part of the reason they got superiors in sight reading is because we use a program called Sight Reading Factory, which they're very familiar with. Um, for accompaniment, I mean, this man, we, he's worth more than $15,000. I promise you it's not all going to him, but he is worth so much more than that. Um, it's for registration for events like Festival of Voices or J.B. Lyle that I told you about, State Choral Festival, and even Allstate. It's for transportation, which was probably our biggest expense. Um, just to get to Hardin Valley and back was $600. Um, so you know that we're not just asking for frivolous things, we're asking for legitimate stuff. And with more students, more buses and more places. Um, and then extra things, like we were able to feed all of the students uh, prior to J.B. Lau because of your generosity and prior to State. That money goes to good stuff. Um, and I told you about our big year ahead. I don't want to shoot the seniors out because you'll see in a little bit that I love my seniors. But to, just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on, we've got more performances planned for next year with more students and harder music. Um, so we've been invited already to sing for not just the Tennessee Senate next year for the swearing in of the new senators, but the House of Representatives too for the swearing in of the House of Representatives. Um, we have an invitation from three different universities to collaborate on performances. Um, and we, that's not including our request, uh, a request that we received just recently to an invitation-only competition for the best choirs in the southeastern United States that will take place in Georgia. All of these things can only happen with your support. Um, these kids are going to make beautiful music regardless, but to give them the opportunity to make different types of music, to go more places, to see more things, to experience more stuff, I think is invaluable. Um, so you might be wondering, Mr. Moore, how do I give you that $15,000 in one fell swoop, right? I, okay, that didn't land as well as I wanted it to. Uh, okay, uh, we will, we do take checks. Um, but in the back at the end, we're gonna have buckets. Most of you know how this works, where if you have any extra change or anything, feel free to throw them in. And if you're gonna say, oh, but I don't have change in my pocket, don't worry, we take Venmo too. Um, so there'll be a way that you can donate uh, via Venmo, and if you're someone who would like to donate maybe a larger amount of money, like I said, $15,000 is a lot. It's doable, but it is a lot. Um, there is the possibility to donate through the Education Foundation. Now, speaking of the Education Foundation, I have been told that through that, if you are someone who wants like a tax write-off, if it's a bigger one, that's a way that you can do that, but we'll help you however you want. Um, one of the things we're planning and this is still very much in the works, is we have the opportunity to provide the students, hopefully, if we can get dot all of our I's, cross our T's, make everything happen, and let me tell you again, this is not set in stone, but it's something we're working towards, to have someone coming in all day on Tuesdays and Thursdays to serve as our accompanist and our full-time performance accompanist, which is unheard of in any school in this area. And that is happening from your support, from matched funds, from the school, education, foundation, all these places. They see these students, they hear these students, and they want to be a part of it. So um, I just want to extend that invitation, heartfelt gratitude. We are so fortunate to be done with this year financially, but we're looking ahead for next year. 
So if you wouldn't mind considering donating to us, I would greatly appreciate it. If you're looking for more information on that, Sarah Schaefnocker, if you'll raise your hand for me, she's right down there. You can speak to her at the end. She is our fundraiser extraordinaire amongst with the other extraordinaires that you saw in your program. Um, now, we're almost done, I promise. I'm almost done talking. Uh, you see everyone is up on the stage now. We, we like to do something at the end of our performances, little group numbers. This is a song we almost did last year, but um, it just wasn't quite fitting in, but this year it fits in. It's called I Will Sing, and I encourage you to listen to the words, I Will Sing. That's it. Sorry. <laughs>
Now we've got one more piece for you, but before we get to that comes honestly my least favorite part of this concert, but somehow my favorite part. Now before we get to that, though, there are two more people that I really want to thank. The first one is I'd love another round of applause for Mr. Stalling. That was Skylar Switzer and Tia Switzer in our little pit band. The other person I want to make sure I thank is someone who is very near and dear to my heart. Someone that I don't think that I could have made it through this semester with. And honestly, I don't think that my students could have made it through this semester with. This person is incredibly kind and measured and calm and brilliant and musical, and confident, and funny, and sarcastic, and whatever positive thing you can think of, this person is that. They possess all of the skills that I would have killed for at their age and at that point in my career. Um, they are going to leave this place and become an incredible <coughs> educator. I would like to give one huge round of applause to our student teacher, Miss Bindi. lucky to have her this semester. She comes to us from UT and um, she's going to go out in the world and just do incredible things. Um, now, as you go out as an educator, we have decided as a community that there are certain things that you need and so we'd like to provide you with just a little bit of stuff to start off with if you wouldn't mind taking this as a token of our gratitude. that two boxes of family-sized Cheez-Its would be enough, but it's not. This woman goes through some Cheez-Its. Uh, but there's one more thing that we have to give you. Every good educator has a way to help uh, keep students in line, keep them to know where they are in uh, music, uh, in sight reading and everything. So I promise, parents, I do take care of your students. I don't hurt them. But we do have something in our class called the ex oh, which one? The well, we had the Punisher, and now we have the Executioner. Just ask your kids later. But we wanted to make sure that as a choir, Miss Bindi left with her own Punisher 2.0. but more importantly, to remember where you came from and the beautiful things that you're gonna do in the future. We are so incredibly grateful for you. Everyone, Miss Bindi. Okay, this is the part that I was talking about. I have been so lucky to have the most incredible seniors that I think I've ever experienced in my entire career. I could keep you in here for hours tonight to talk about them, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I know you don't want that. I know you would probably give me the $15,000 to be quiet, uh, but we are going to honor these seniors, though, because they have been integral in what you hear and saw tonight. They have taken this program, they bought into an idea, and they have run with it. And they have done it with such musicality and class that they have set the bar so high for years to come. They have made my wildest dreams come true as an educator, the professional things that I want to do. And I'm a little bit mad at them now because now I have to set higher dreams and higher expectations, but I wouldn't have wanted to achieve it with any other people. So tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to honor our seniors by handing them a senior rose. We're going to call them out name by name, and they're going to line up around the front, and then we'll end tonight with our traditional ending song, What Would I Do Without My Music? Um, and just a quick note before we get in there, we actually have a special guest in the audience tonight. So What Would I Do Without My Music is a song that I did when I was in high school. It was how I ended it, and I remember bawling my eyes out my senior year. My director got it from his time at Auburn Singers. Uh, Auburn Singers at Auburn University. He was back there, I want to say, like maybe in the 80s or something like that. Well, come to find out, at the end of last year, um, a very young child came up to me and was like, Mr. Moore, you want to know something cool? I was like, what? She said, 
My grandfather started that tradition at Auburn University. Um, now, I, I'm a terrible human being, and I, I did not get your name, but um, what's his name? Thomas? Smith? Can you just raise your hand for me right quick so I know where you are? You don't know it, but you have inspired generations of people with that one choice, and I have to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Uh, now, let's get to why this song is so special, the seniors. I'd like to bring down, and feel free to clap for them name by name, our first senior of the night, Sana Bogani. <laughs> the next senior can't be here tonight, but I do want to say his name, Joseph Bradford. Our next senior, Mary Carter. Our next, Nicole Kamayas. Sophia Cook. Our next senior, universally liked, Katherine Davis. Our next senior, Christian Grace, I mean, Christian Graves. Our next senior, Chloe Greco. It truly 
has been a wonderful year with these students, and I'm going to be really impressed if I make it through this next song. Folks, I would like to present to you our Class of 2022 Senior Choir students. Thank you again for being here tonight. We will close it out with our traditional ending song, What Would I Do Without My Music?
how grateful we are. But most importantly, we've got you a cake. <laughs> tonight's concert. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting us. Remember, if you feel led to make a donation tonight, we'd love to have your support. But thank you for just being here. That's what means the most to us. Have a great night, everyone.